yeah, mm-hmm. it's Game of Thrones time. And here at Heroes and Legends is the lady who has designed and made this incredible throne replica of the one in Game of Thrones. Hello, Victoria. Hello. So tell me, how did you come about making this? It was actually my husband's idea. He, I make props as a hobby, just as like a bit of fun, you know, in my studio at the back garden. And um, he said, go and do the throne. It's the next biggest thing. Everyone will love it. I didn't watch it at the time. I didn't know what it was about. So I started making it. Dining room chair started off with. Loads of recycled material, plastic ones, cardboard, wood, you name it, it's in there. Wow. And this was the result. And how long did it take to make? About four months. Four months. Was there any moment you thought, this isn't working, it's not oh, going to work? Yeah, Give almost up. every single day. But when you're making things, you just focus on what it's going to look like at the end. And it just keeps you going. So where do you keep the throne when it's not in uh, places like this? I have a studio at the back garden that my mum kindly had built for me. Wow. Um, it's big enough to fit a whole house in, really, and that's where I keep it. I fix it, I redesign things, do any tweaking that needs doing, and that's where it lives when it's not in places like this amazing castle in Margam. So who's the most um, unusual person who's ever sat in it? Oh, gosh, what a question. Well, I've had 31 members of Game of Thrones cast. The actual cast? The actual cast who have signed the back of the throne and I think the most exciting person I've had in it is Miltos who played Sirius Pharrell who's actually doing sword fighting here today in Margam. What? Yes, we met him earlier. He's, He's fantastic. He's wonderful. Very, very nice man. Wow. So uh, where's the next uh, protocol for this? Oh, it's Geeked Fest which is in two weeks in Newport. And then the next one then is in Scotland, in Edinburgh. We've been all around the UK with it. Wow. How does it feel to have created one of the most popular props ever for fantasy <laughs> festivals? Oh, I think it's completely crazy considering it was in the shed for seven months without anyone knowing about it. Were you nervous when it made its debut? Oh gosh, yes. Very, very nervous. I thought people wouldn't like it, honestly. I, I thought people would hate it, but everybody loved it. It was such a big hit. And then of course I had phone calls, emails every day. Have you had any, apart from the cast, has any of the production crew or producers commented on it? Um, no, but HBO celebrated it online. Wow. When it was in the South Wales Evening Post, they actually found the article and retweeted it and said if they ever lose their one in Belfast, <laughs> they can come to Tonner and use mine. <laughs> Do you know of any other replicas that have been made of it? Um, I know there's one or two out there, but I have to be very, very honest, they're not as good as mine. No? <laughs> How accurate would you say it is to the original? It's not bad. It's, I actually get mine uh, mistaken for the real one sometimes when it's touring the UK as a promotional piece for Sky. I get uh, I get people saying, isn't this your throne? And it's not, it's the actual throne. So I take that as a very mm. big compliment. Is it uh, heavily insured? Oh, I can't say that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Secrets. worth a lot, so it, it's, uh, it's looked after. And did it help that you're either a fan or not a fan of the TV series? Um, it, I started off as not a fan. I mm. thought Game of Thrones was a bit crazy and a bit tongue-in-cheek, but after I started making it, I like to research what I'm actually making and what's brought it together. So I watched the series. I was absolutely hooked. It's brilliant. And I love you've it. never had an email from George Barton? No. <laughs> no, I hear he stays away from emails. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's fantastic. 